Hi everybody, this is March 8, 2014. I'm Rob and there is our sailboat Goshawk. She's a 43 foot Bruce Roberts catch and uh, we're in the middle of some renovations to get her ready for uh, blue water somewhere down the line but uh, right now we're just trying to turn her into a sailing vessel. Uh, she needs quite a bit of work still. Uh, the winter's been taken up by mostly by doing inside uh, work, cabinetry, uh, uh, upgrades of systems and that kind of thing. But uh, like I said, it's a long-term uh, goal. But right now, uh, just figured to give a quick update. Uh, it's been uh, well, a month or two since uh, my last little video blog thing. And just figured I'd let people know how we're doing. Um, well, we had a thaw a couple of weeks ago. Uh, that was uh, was nice for a couple of days. Uh, we, they were into the uh, above zero or above uh, freezing mark for all those in the U.S. And uh, uh, we were actually loose for a few for a little bit. Now this weekend, uh, it, the temperatures have climbed up again a bit, but today it's dropped back back down below zero. We are packed solid in the ice, but uh, yesterday afternoon. She was moving a little bit. She, she just kind of broke loose, and uh, I guess the steel hull and the uh, the cold water next to it uh, just gave us a little bit of uh, space there, and we were uh, rolling like a real boat. So that was kind of nice. Uh, what else has happened? Uh, we've, uh, like I said, a couple of freeze and thaws. Oh, during the last freeze, our last thaw and freeze, the winds picked up. You can feel they're uh, actually blowing up bit right now but uh, they were really honking they were oh 25 30 knots or more and the boat healed over because of the thaw and then we froze in at about a five degree angle so for a couple of days there we were uh, we we're on a bit of a slope but uh, other than that not too bad uh, what else uh, oh yeah I guess uh, the ice has done a fair bit of damage to the paint on the bottom I don't know if you can see that from here but uh, I was hoping not to haul out this year, but I think we're going to have to haul out just to refresh the paint around the water line and do the uh, the stripe again, uh, which is a bit of a pain. That's uh, you know a couple of weeks that uh, I didn't really want to deal with, but hey, what can you do? Uh, well, we're hoping for some better weather. Uh, we're still a ways away from them double digits. Those good. Uh, you know, actually getting this place thawed out, you can maybe see over towards the channel. There's a little bit of free water coming in the channel, but I'm still, I'm standing on one shore and I walked across the, uh, uh, this part of the bay to, uh, to get to our boat. So it's still solid here. It's still, you know, 15, 18 inches thick at least. Uh, but uh, last weekend, somebody tried to drive their car across over there. And like I said, you can see where the water was coming through. Well, that's the channel coming out of Lake Ontario, and the water never really freezes too thick over there, and I guess she had no idea, uh, wasn't familiar with the area, and uh, ended up dropping her car into it, and uh, it, it was it was dangerous, it was scary. Uh, she, she could have lost her life and the life of her couple of kids that were on board, or on the, in the car with her. Uh, but a couple of ice fishermen came to her rescue, and. Uh, uh, so all is well, uh, except she's going to have a hell of a bill to haul that car out in the spring because uh, she's, uh, she's liable for that. But uh, I don't know if you can see, there's uh, somebody over there parasailing or paraskiing or whatever you want to call it. Uh, they have dirt bikes out there, they've got ice fishing huts, people will drive their cars on the far side of the bay uh, to do ice fishing, but you got to know where these channels open up and uh, you know, just be smart about that kind of thing. Like I said, over here, uh, we do have a bit of a channel that goes underneath the bridge over here and uh, I suspect that's the reason why we can see this little bit of a fissure in the, uh, in the, uh, the ice here. Uh, although, like I said, it's still really thick, but there is some movement underneath there, so probably this will be the last time that I'm going to be walking across this thing. Uh, but uh, anyways, that's about it. That's about all I've got to say. But uh, we're doing well. Uh, all systems are go. I'm uh, doing some in inside cabinetry work. Um, hopefully the galley will be done in the next day or so. So that's going to be nice. And I can move on to the next inside project. So uh, hopefully next time we talk, the, uh, the bay will be free of ice or at least 
mostly free of ice and we'll be looking forward to actually floating on the water instead of being frozen in it and uh, have some fun maybe take that cover off that would be lovely but uh, that's going to be a while yet it sounds like we're going to be uh, cool right into mid-april anyway so we got another month to go so wish us luck thanks and bye bye